I used to have a hard time building healthy, balanced meals that, you know, tasted really good, made me feel satisfied, and that were easy to make. But over time, this has become second nature. And I think it's why it's been easy for me to be vegan for such a long time, is I know that I'm getting the nutrients that I need, I'm enjoying the food, and it fits into my lifestyle. So I'm gonna share lots of tips and tricks throughout this video that I've learned over the years, and I hope it helps you to have even more delicious and enjoyable vegan meals. Thank you to Thrive Market for teaming up with me, and let's get started with breakfast. I love this pumpkin mug. I bring it out this time every year. I got it at Target a while ago and I think it's so cute. I always start my day with water and some coffee. And on this day, I made my boyfriend and I a bowl of cereal. Yes, I said boyfriend, we're moving past it. But I love this cereal from Kashi. It's nice and cinnamony, but it's not too sweet. It's got a good amount of fiber. I find that when I start my day with a breakfast that's loaded with fiber rich carbs and balanced out with protein and healthy fats, I feel really good. And I don't get that kind of initial burst of energy. And then I feel you know like hungry again right away i used to just look at a box of cereal and i would look at the serving size and it was generally pretty small for my appetite and then i would eat that and be hungry later so what i've learned is that i can eat the amount of cereal that sounds good to me which is usually a bit more than the serving size and then i add even more to it and i focus on adding nutrients i no longer think of it as just calories i'm like what can i add so i add bananas which offers a bit of sweetness which complements the cinnamony cereal but i'm also getting potassium and i'm getting extra fiber and a little protein too and then this is one of my favorite tricks i love adding nuts and seeds to cereal it adds extra fiber extra protein loads of minerals like pumpkin seeds for example are really rich in zinc so i like to do a little combo of some pumpkin seeds Seeds, sunflower seeds and pecans the pecans are so good with the cinnamon and the cereal and I like to do a little drizzle of either almond butter or this day I did some tahini which I love it's a really good source of calcium and this is a protein rich iron rich fiber rich carb rich delicious breakfast that is super easy to make it takes like five minutes and it's so good all the nostalgia of cereal but like hearty and filling you know I'm just going through my kitchen and I'm gonna go through all of my cupboards and like just the staple areas of my cupboards like my spices my dried goods and my baking goods just to kind of make sure that I'm stocked up on all my staples because I do a lot of baking this time of year and a lot of cooking with all different kinds of spices from like the sweet spices that I use in my oatmeal in the morning and when I'm baking like cinnamon and nutmeg but also a lot of like herbs and dried herbs and herb blends and just salt and pepper and paprika and all those basics I like to move every once in a I'll just kind of go through and make sure I'm topped up I have everything I need and that way cooking is just really easy because I don't have to run out and get a bunch of different ingredients when I want to cook I just kind of fill in the gaps with like fresh ingredients and a couple things here and there and I've got my staples on hand so I've got my notebooks I actually wanted to show you these because they're really cute I'll link them below but they're like a matching set this one's my favorite because <laughs> it's like a terracotta color, which is my favorite color. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a list. And I wanted to let you guys know that on my blog, NikkiVegan.com, there's free grocery lists that are categorized that you can print out. You can pick whatever color you like. They're totally free and you can print them out. I usually print out like a stack at a time. My printer's not set up right now, but usually that's what I do. And it has all the different categories arranged like at the grocery store. So I've got a pantry section, a produce section, a home goods section. That's where I do like paper towels and hand soap and that kind of thing there's a bakery section if you need like bread or pitas and of course like a cold and a frozen too and it's all laid out in a really organized way and I really like using those so I'll link that below if you guys want to print out your grocery list but I'm just gonna use pen and paper here This is a spice I use a lot this time of year. It's poultry seasoning and it's a blend of a bunch of different herbs that I feel like makes everything just taste very autumnal and it just gives it kind of a Thanksgiving-y flavor, especially if you're making tofu. Poultry seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, salt, pepper, grill it, bake it, air fry it. It's such a good combination and it kind of gives like a little bit of like a chicken-y flavor. Almond extract is another one that I like to use a lot when I'm baking, but I also really like it in my oatmeal and even in my smoothies sometimes. I'll put some of my favorite recipes below that use almond extract, but sometimes I use this on its own. I definitely use it for co Christmas cookies, so with that around the corner, I want to make sure I have lots of this on hand. But I also really like mixing it with vanilla extract. It just kind of gives 
a little bit more flavor, a little bit more of an interesting combo, and it's one of my favorite baking pantry staples. That and applesauce. I use applesauce in a bunch of my baked goods, especially my cakes, so I'm gonna make sure that I put that on the list too. Okay, so now that I have my list, the first thing I do before I go to the grocery store and run all over the place is I just open my computer, just right here at my desk, and I open Thrive Market, or sometimes I just use my phone because there's an app, and I literally just go through my list. And I get the bulk of everything that I need on Thrive because they have so many different pantry essentials. They've got fun vegan snacks. I'm planning a Halloween movie night, so I wanna make sure that I get some fun snacks, stuff like that, my spices, my cooking oils, the vinegars that I use, the pasta, all of the grains, all of the beans it's all there and it's all at a discounted price so I end up saving a bit of money and a trip to the store which is great so I'm actually gonna use the app so I can share my screen and you can see what I'm doing but basically I've got my list right here and I've got the app open and I'm just gonna go through and type everything in so the first thing is gonna be applesauce which is 17% off vanilla extra so with black pepper, I like to get the kind that's already ground and I also like the fresh cracked black pepper. I use the fresh cracked as like a topper, so on pasta or on salad, but when I'm measuring out black pepper for a recipe, I find it so much easier to have the ground. So it may seem excessive to get both, but I find it just to be really convenient and it makes cooking just a breeze. Paprika. I go through peanut butter like nobody's business. The Santa Cruz creamy salted dark roasted peanut butter is one of my all-time favorites. What's great about this too is you can search by filter so I can basically just hit the vegan filter and if I want to get really specific I can do gluten-free, I can do organic, I can do non-gmo. There's so many different values that you can set for the filter and then everything that doesn't fit into those categories just goes away so it's really really simple just to find exactly what you're looking for. Okay so I'm going to continue Continue shopping but I hope it was helpful to show you how I use the app you can do the exact same thing on your desktop computer and it makes it really easy to find the vegan friendly groceries that you're looking for so if you guys want to become a member you can sign up to become a member for one month or for one year and when you click the link and join today you will get 30% off your first order I hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you at lunchtime I don't always cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but if I do, I always make extra so that the next day and sometimes even the day after that, I can just, you know, take it out of the fridge and enjoy it. It's ready to go. So it's kind of like a little meal prep session I did on this day. I started just by air frying some sweet potatoes. I added cumin, cinnamon, ginger, salt, and pepper with a little olive oil, toss that all together, and then I just put it in the air fryer for like 15 minutes or it depends on how big you cut them, but I wanted it to be kind of crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. Then I went about making a hot harvest style fall salad and kale is really great for meal prep because it holds up really well in the fridge and it doesn't get soggy if anything it just becomes more flavorful so I go ahead and I just massage the kale with a little lemon and salt and then I add some olive oil and this is kind of that first base layer of flavor salads is another thing kind of like cereal where they can be very unsatisfying and very low calorie and low energy density if you don't really bulk them up in a strategic way so for me I like to make sure that I'm adding really hearty filling ingredients ingredients like apples and sweet potatoes and pecans a lot of times I will add tofu or you know some kind of like pump food but on this day I decided to try this vegan chicken which is made from pea protein but having that balance of fiber healthy fats which I have here from the olive oil the pecans and the vegan feta and then also just having lots of flavors and textures it's a little bit sweet because I added raisins I have the sweet potatoes I have the apples it's also super savory from the vegan feta and the salt and pepper that I use oh also very like zesty and refreshing because of the lemon so packed with nutrients packed with fiber well balanced easy to make and lunch was ready for the next couple days because I did this meal prep style <laughs> donut time I think it's important to point out that treats definitely have their place in a healthy lifestyle, especially a healthy vegan lifestyle. I think it's important to enjoy all of the delicious vegan options that exist nowadays. And one of my favorite authors, Gretchen Rubin, talks about how it's important to add whimsy into your day because satisfaction and satiety is also very pleasure based. So you don't want to feel like you're depriving yourself. There's so much good stuff to enjoy. Pop chips. Do we not get hummus? Oh yeah, we got Ithaca hummus. They have the strangest texture and they're like puffy and airy and they taste like seaweed, but they also don't. It's oh my God, I love these. Yeah.
Also wanted to give you guys an update on this dip. I showed this in a grocery haul recently and I love it. It's surprisingly cauliflower based, which is really similar to one that I've seen at Target, but this one is really, really good. It's spicy, but it's not super, super hot and it's delicious with carrots, with cucumbers, with pita chips, honestly, on bowls, so many things. Speaking of bowls, I decided to make a quick veggie bowl on this day. And this is one of my favorite meals because it makes me feel so good. I just took some tofu and sometimes I like using this high protein tofu it's really satiating especially if I'm super hungry I feel like this is really nice and satisfying so I went ahead and I just tossed that with some garlic powder salt pepper and then I did the same thing with the broccoli I just roasted that with some olive oil garlic salt pepper maybe some red pepper flakes too I cooked up some rice I love fluffy jasmine rice and I put that on the bottom of the bowl along with the baked tofu and also the broccoli and then adding a delicious sauce like you can make this exact combo and change up the sauce every single night and have a very different dinner and I love this one because it's almond based so you're getting some healthy fats and it's super flavorful another trick of mine is to pick a herb at the grocery store like once a week pick a new herb and put it on whatever it is you're making I love using cilantro but sometimes I'll do basil or sometimes I'll like chop up some scallions on top of the bowl like this I love how the fresh herbs and a little squeeze of lemon really brings a bowl like this to life and dinners like this are great because they're loaded with protein fiber healthy fats I know I sound like a broken record but that's the combo that makes me feel good and you saw it all throughout this video and every meal that I made so I hope this really helps you to build some healthy meals at home enjoy vegan food just that much more focus on flavor focus on nutrients focus on what you're adding and you will definitely enjoy the process thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in a video very soon bye everyone